our first contestant. And I'm going to signal him to go. Remember, he only has 10 lives. He's probably pretty under pressure right now. But he's doing pretty well for the first section. Oh, that's such a shame. Fell into the grass. Gotta fly back to where he was. That's one life down, got nine left. Let's see if he can make it this time. One block jump shouldn't be such a challenge for a, a pro like him. He's been training for this all day. There we go, he got a, ch a checkpoint. Uh, this is one of the harder parts because the ladders you have to jump on from the side. Because the hitboxes. Let's see him make this jump. Yes. Oh, this is a toughy jump for most people. Oh, he made it. He's a pro. Oh, this is one of the harder ones. Oh, he made it. Did he make it to the checkpoint? Yes! He's made it. Now, here's the ladder section. These are easier because there's uh, hitboxes now. Let's see. Can he make it up here? There's a ladder on the side of that box. Oh, he made it. Up there's the checkpoint. All he has to do is simply jump onto the ladders and jump onto that. There he goes. Tarkus87 truly is a master of parkour, it seems. He's reached another checkpoint. With eight lives to go, it looks like he's going to make it. If he doesn't screw up majorly, it looks like he should be able to make it. Well, he's almost there. He's almost to the next checkpoint. This is another hard part. Oh, he made it. Yes. He's almost to another checkpoint. Oh, and such a shame. He was almost there. Now he must go back to this checkpoint. Okay, he's back. Let's see if he can do it. Okay. He's still got seven lives to go. There's a checkpoint not too far away. Can he do it? Yes. He's almost there. Now this is the jump. This is the jump that screwed him over last time. Yes! Did it! He's almost there. All he has to do is do a sideways jump. Yes, and he's reached another checkpoint. Could be a champion. He's almost to the last checkpoint before the leap of faith. He's almost there. He's gotta do a sideways ladder jump. It's a toughie. Sideways ladder jumps are oh such a shame. Six lives left. Okay, he's back. He's making the jump. Six lives. He's almost there. Can he do it? He's made this. He's almost there. He made this jump. No! To couldn't make it. Oh, it's always a just mind-boggling just to see these pros in action oh and he's made it to the checkpoint he's gotta jump all the he's way made it he's made it back With four lives to go he's almost there he's almost the oh, three lives three lives he's almost to the he's almost the big oh he's almost there He's made it! He's the Tower of Power of Victor! With three lives to go, he's made it! Yes! And his reward! Two emerald blocks! Welcome to the second part of the first episode of the Tower of Power. Our second contestant is Raka64. He's an amateur Minecraft player, but he thinks he can make it to the top of the tower with ease. Let's see him go. Let me signal him on these first jumps. It's almost painful to watch. That did not count. That's still alive because he didn't even make a first jump yet. He's a little threatened to make this first jump. 
I have a feeling he's under a lot of pressure right now, as he's in front of a lot of viewers. But, uh, good. He's almost there. First checkpoint should be, uh, not a big deal to get to, but he's gotta watch out about bumping his head on these ladders if he's a little too far to the left. Ah, oh, and he's made it to the first checkpoint with no lags down. That's a good start. Good start. These ladders are easy because now they have hitboxes, so there he goes. Now, he's been having trouble on this a little. I murdered him last time he tried to play. He lost a billion lives on here. He literally lost all ten lives. Oh, flawless getting to the second checkpoint. That's going to give a good uh, head start. Oh, uh, here's where he gets up here. There's a ladder on the, side, on the side of that. Let's see if he can get up here. Is he going to risk jumping for it? He's going to go down the ladders. Oh, he risked it and he made it. That's good. That's good. No lives down. He's already here. Uh, a sideways ladder to ladder jump. That might be... Oh, never mind. I take it back. He took it great. I think he might even be, in, be doing better than the first contestant. He's been training a long time for this uh, event, so it, I wouldn't be surprised if he makes it. There he goes. First checkpoint is just out of his reach. Now this jump's a far jump, but can you make it? Yep. See him jump over here. Oh, there we go. Another ladder, I suppose, on the side of this. And then one more jump. Side jump, that is. Until he reaches. Oh, that's just. He's still alive. Back. After that unfortunate but... fall, he'll still make it. Let's see if he can make it back without any mess ups. The checkpoint was just out of his reach before he fell. Nine lives remaining. He's almost there. It's just unfortunate to see him fall. At such a close range to the checkpoint, he's almost there. A sideways jump. This might be a tough one for him. Okay, he made it! Now this is tough because he might hit his head on the ladder. This is just a jumble of ladders. But yes, it is possible. Okay, he's back after that unfortunate fall. So let's see him go. Eight lives remaining. Oh, seven lives. And this truly is unfortunate to see him fall so many times on this trivial jump. Especially falling backwards off. Man, it really is heartbreaking to see him fall so many times on this simple jump. He didn't even make it to this. Okay. Six lives remaining. He might make it this time. He's almost at the checkpoint. Can he make this jump? Oh, and the answer is to see him use nearly half of his lives on this one section. When he's really so close. It's just heartbreaking almost. I admit, it is harder when you're under pressure, but this section is not supposed to be this tough. Unlike, uh, unlike our first contestant, who was all around, this contestant seems to be having a little more trouble. Oh, but unlike our first contestant, he's made it down here on his first try. See him go up. He's almost there, with five lives. Can he make it? Can he become the Tower of Power champion? Set a new record. Oh, that was almost a deadly attack. He's almost there. Can he break the record? Can he make it with five lives instead of three? And yes, he's made it. He's made it. He set the new Tower of Power record. Raka 64 has beaten the first contestant and claims his reward. He is the new Tower of Power champion. We are getting an exclusive interview from Rocka64, the man who beat the first Tower of Power champion. So, how do you feel, Rocka? I I don't even know what to say. I mean, I know it's typical, but I mean, I, I really, I am not good at parkour, so I, I don't even know how this happened.
So, oh. so what's it like to beat the first champion of the Tower of Power? I'm I'm really excited. I, I hope I I wonder if somebody can beat my record though. So you think you're gonna retain your license? I mean, keep your reward and keep your rank as champion? Yeah, I'll try to do that. What do you think were the toughest parts? Can you take us through some of the toughest parts of the uh, tower? Well, fire? if you look, I I fell off in the beginning, which was kind of lame. Like right here, that wasn't very tough at all. But I don't know. Um, I, I here here right here is one of the toughest parts, I believe. And also right here, I'm very bad at corner jumps, so it I have seemed, to. It seemed to me that those. you were failing a lot right at this section. Yeah. Especially also, when you simply fell off the back without even jumping. Oh, God, yeah. That was, I was really excited because I was so close to me. So, I kind of freaked out on that part. So, how did you manage to stay calm through this? Uh, it, it seems weird, but... I played music and I just blasted it in my ears so I can't hear anything else and just took deep breaths. So, can you take us through, I don't know if you have any of this, but can you take us through any of your favorite slash least favorite sections? Well, least favorite is probably this, because I never make this jump. I don't know why I made this the first part, but I, I usually never make this jump. And um, do you have any favorites? I don't know I, why, but th uh, this seems to be, this part right here seems to be my favorite. I noticed that you took this jump instead of climbing on top of the ladders. Huh? I noticed that you jumped on, to uh, you did not climb on top of these ladders and rather jumped all the way across, risking it. Yeah. I just wanted to see if I could make it. And, um, how did you use your reward, the two emeralds and the diamond? <laughs> I set it up outside my house. Looks a bit weird, but I like it. And lastly, what was it like to climb the Tower of Power right in front of the camera? It was... it was okay, but... oh god, I'm sweating so much right now, but... Yeah. It was okay. So, lastly, can you just, let's L. See. Okay, for Luca. Yep. Okay. Um, here's what he has used his reward for. More like a trophy than a reward, but it looks good. Yeah, I like it, even though it may look a bit weird. Yeah. So, uh, thanks for joining us on the first episode of The Tower of Power. Hope you enjoyed, and until next time, bye.